Hey everybody, this is Ben with devslopes.com. It's the video you've been waiting for. We're going to go ahead and set up our project and build it out in iOS. If you want to build out your project in Android, the process is str pretty straightforward, so we're not going to cover it. This is going to be all about setting up our game to build up an Xcode. But before we dive into that with Unity, we need to check out a couple of things on Mapbox's website. If we go to their documentation on mapbox.com and go to the Unity SDK, and we go to their tabletop AR section, there's a really important section down here that we need to cover. This running on a device section. It's got some important information for us to let us know that first off, ARKit supports the Metal Graphics API only. So we need to make sure that we select Metal or Auto Graphics API. Second, we need to be sure to include a camera usage description and a location usage description. And this is good for Android users to know. When you're building for Android, be sure you use the OpenGL ES or Auto Graphic API. So with that in mind, let's switch back to Unity and get this built. Step one is we're going to go up to File in our navigation bar, and we're going to click Build Settings. And we're going to make sure that we're in iOS, that our main game is included in our Scenes and Build, that Debug Land is not included in our Scenes and Build, and then we're going to go to the Player Settings. We've got a couple of things that we want to double check. First, we want to make sure that the Metal Editor support is turned on and that the Metal API validation is turned on. And then, if we scroll down some, we're going to include a bundle identifier and a version number and click Automatically Sign. I've already filled mine out, but you can fill this with whatever identifier you want to. Next, we need to make sure that there's a camera usage description and a location usage description. But if we click on this button down here where it says requires AR kit support, it'll fill out the camera for us, with, which just leaves us with location. And we're going to say required for augmented reality support, just like the camera, because that's an easy and truthful description. And I think that's just about it. Now we just need to click build. So let's click build. And I've got it defaulted to the builds folder inside of my project, but you can save this wherever you want. And I'm just going to call it drenches of war underscore 01. We'll click save. And this will take a minute, so I'll see you when it's done. Awesome. Our build was successful. The next thing we're going to do is drill down into this folder. And we're going to open up this Unity-iPhone project in Xcode. So I'm going to double click this file, the Unity-iPhone.xcode proj. And now that the project is open in Xcode, let's make sure that we're targeting an actual device. And we're actually going to have some problems with this build right out of the box. So let's get ahead of them. First, if we click on the project information, I don't have this signing certificate set up because I need to click what team I want it to go to. So I'll take care of that. Second, for some reason, maybe I forgot to click it in Unity, but we just want this to be landscape. So make sure that portrait and upside down are turned off. But the biggest problem that we're going to have is Unity is going to have a little difficulty finding a header file. And that's mostly because we wrapped our Mapbox SDK information inside of another folder. And so the paths are a little messed up. So if I were to build this right now, you would see an error. And why don't I go ahead and build it just so you can see it. And that way, if you come across something like this on your own, then you know kind of what to do to fix it. OK, so our build has failed. Let's scroll down to the bottom of our notifications and find out why. So it looks like we have a lexical or preprocessor pre issue. And that's 
mapbox mobile events slash mapbox mobile events dot h file not found. So it can't find a header file that it's looking for. And why is that? Well, it's partly because of the folder that we set up in Unity, where we took all of the Mapbox SDK stuff and dragged it into a folder. But there is a quick fix for it. If we go to the build settings in Xcode, and we go and search for header, there is a list of options called header search paths right here. And we're just going to update this guy real quick. So double click it and it'll pull up this list of header paths. So the fix for this is to add a header path. What we're going to do is going to, we're going to write two quotation marks and then we're going to say dollar sign parenthesis S R C R O O P all caps slash libraries slash mapbox SDK space SDK slash mapbox slash core slash plugins slash iOS slash mapbox mobile events slash include. So it's going to look a lot like the link that's directly above it with a couple of core changes. First off, instead of going for the SDK directory, we're going to go for the source root, and then we're going to hit libraries. And this mapbox space SDK folder is the one that we added in Unity. We nested the mapbox folder inside of that, which causes it to have a couple of issues when it's looking for a header. So now that that path is set, let's rebuild and see what happens. Press build. And look at that. It built successfully and it's now installing to my iPhone. Perfect. That's exactly what we were going for. As soon as that's done installing, I'm going to go ahead and go to QuickTime to show you a window to show our game in action. Okay, so Drenches has built to my iPhone and it's ready to play. So I'm going to open up QuickTime real quick to give you a view at the game and we'll check it out on a real surface on a real device. Okay. So let's take a look at our game and you'll notice that we've got our tanks, it's on the tabletop, and we've got our score, our water balloons are showing up great. Perfect. So far this is looking really good. Um, there are a few things that we may want to adjust, but other than that, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. You'll notice we've got our point of interests off to the side. You can see the golden color there. And yeah, sound effects are working great. The music's running, buildings are getting painted. This is really turning out well. See what you guys have done? This is awesome. Great job following along. We now have a fully playable game that we can play anywhere on our AR capable devices. I think this is so cool and I hope that you do too. This is really exciting stuff and it's a great place for us to start with our development with Mapbox. This has been with devslopes.com and we'll see you next time.